Hi guys, welcome back to my new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create 3D mockup uh, of your phone in Cinema 4D and to export it to export it to After Effects. So uh, in After Effects you could uh, add any animation to the screen uh, and to background uh, so you wouldn't have to render it every time you need to change something uh, over here. So let's start and to begin with we you need to uh, go to your program files, open uh, Maxon Cinema 4D uh, version you are using, go to exchange plugins, After Effects, Importer, here I have Win, but if you have Mac uh, I think you would have a folder named Mac, and uh, copy this C4D Importer uh, file. Now let's go to program files, Adobe, After Effects, the version that you are using, support files, go to plugins and put this C4D importer uh, over here, I already have it here. So we need this uh, in order to import file from uh, C4D file uh, into After Effects with all the information about uh, rotation and position uh, of the screen uh, of uh, the phone. So after you've done that, let's open Cinema 4D. Here I already have uh, a model of the phone. Uh, you can go to Sketchfab, uh, type here iPhone and you will find here thousands or hundreds of different phones that you can use, they are all free, uh, download any of uh, them. Uh, the one thing that you will need is that you have uh, the screen as a separate object, uh, but it shouldn't be a problem, usually these models of phones, they go with separate parts modeled separately. Now, when we have uh, this phone, you imported it uh, to uh, the C4D file, scene. Uh, let's create dome light, add any RTRI map you like, uh, turn off background, if you have older versions you will have here uh, background and you can uncheck it and if you have 2025.2 uh, or later you would need to go to details and here in camera turn it off. Now let's create a camera center it and uh, let's put focal length to 100. Let's see what we got, let's move our camera further away uh, and now we would uh, we will make the animation of the phone. Animation would will be very very simple, uh, it's not the main part of this tutorial, uh, so let's just go to frame 45 make a keyframe over here, put phone, move it down, so now let's rotate it so it would look something like that, let's keyframe all uh, these properties, go to the start frame, rotate the phone, Uh, and let's change this property a little bit. Now uh, let's open timeline f-curve, press shift alt f3 and you can change the dynamic uh, of uh, animation over here, maybe let's make it a little more dramatic, something like that, go to rotation ash here uh, we can change it in that way so our phone would rotate more and then go back to like to this uh, state and in position we can also change it so now let's look what we got Yeah, that's pretty much okay. Uh, of course, you can uh, take more time and uh, and make the animation uh, much smoother and much better. For me, that works. And now let's 
learn the uh, main part of the tutorial, like what we uh, need to do in order to transport this as a mockup to After Effects. So we need to do several things. First of all, let's find our screen. Uh, it's called body wallpaper over here. Uh, press right button, go to render text and add tag Cinever. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Now let's go to uh, render settings. Uh, here I have standard render settings, width, height, uh, frame range, all frames. And uh, I have a place where I save my, uh, my render. And here uh, we have compositing project file. Uh, you won't uh, have, uh, it won't be checked uh, here. So you need to check here save. Target application uh, After Effects is what we basically need. Uh, and also you can check includes 3D data. And when uh, you are going to render your file, uh, Cinema 4D will create separate file uh, with all the information about this object. So it will store uh, its position, rotation, scale, and also it will store your camera. Uh, here it's like a redshift camera, so it will uh, be uh, in the uh, After Effect file later. Uh, and. Uh, it will store it uh, the same place where you will render your animation, but uh, you can also press save project file and save it anywhere at uh, any other folder you want. So that's the first thing. And the second thing, uh, we, we need to export this uh, our screen as a separate layer. Uh, so we can, we, can, we can use it as a mask uh, for uh, our videos that we are going to insert here. So in order to do that, uh, select body wallpaper or the name of uh, the screen that you have, uh, go to render text and add redshift object. Now uh, at object ID, press override and here type one. Now let's go to redshift, redshift AOV manager. So uh, you won't, you will have here, uh, you won't have anything over here. And now we need to find Puzzle Mate. Scroll down, choose Puzzle Mate, and drag it over here. And then Mode, choose not Material ID but Object ID. And here, type one, one, and one. And uh, let's see what we have. So, in order uh, to see what we are rendering here as a Puzzle Mate, you need to go to Bucket Rendering. And here, instead of Beauty, let's choose Puzzle Mate. And now it will show us uh, these AOVs. And uh, now we have separate AOV, uh, like black and white map, black and white image uh, that we are going to uh, use in After Effects uh, as a map uh, in order so uh, to our video, so it would appear only where uh, only white color is. Uh, yeah, maybe it's a little bit confusing uh, at this point, but uh, you will see uh, it will be uh, all clear uh, in the end. Now, super important uh, part, you need to go to direct output, press enable, and here format, let's choose PNG. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, in that way, uh, our uh, puzzle made file will render at the same folder that uh, we are rendering uh, our animation. Uh, and uh, we can, so we would be able to import it to After Effects pretty easily. Uh, and uh, yeah, for now that's basically all the anime, all the things we need to do in Cinema 4D. And now let's go to After Effects. Let's open new project file, press Ctrl E, and I already have my animation rendered. Uh, and here you can see uh, two files, that's basically that's old file, we don't uh, need it. Uh, here you can see uh, my AEC file, that's the file that will be created uh, because, of, because of this compositing project file, uh, we checked it uh, to save. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's choose this file, click import, and now if you go to to untitled, you can open uh, this uh, composition and you will see that we have our animation over here. 
and besides that we have Redshift camera and we also have an object that is called body wallpaper that's uh, the name of uh, the screen here and of course if I would name it something like iPhone screen uh, it would be uh, named the same way over here but I'm too lazy to name my objects properly so because of that we have here body wallpaper underscore zero but it's uh, good enough for our purposes and now let's uh, let's figure out how to uh, turn it uh, into how to add animation to it so uh, besides that um, okay let's import any video for example this one and let's create separate composition with it now let's go to our main scene and put this composition over here let's turn it into a 3d uh, layer and now open press p in order to open position and shift r in order to open a rotation the same press uh, here p shift r to open position and rotation and what we need to do uh, we need to connect so this position would be the same as this one and it's pretty easy to do you just connect it like this now we can see that something is changing and for now our uh, composition is too big so let's scale it down to something like 3% and you can see that now uh, it moves with our phone but for example here we don't see our screen we see only the back of our phone but of course uh, in this case in After Effects we will also see uh, this composition no matter what so uh, now it's super useful to import our puzzle mate composition so untitled uh, puzzle mate that i rendered uh, i imported it to after effects let's put it over here or we can put it over here it doesn't matter and here we will see uh, our black and white map and we will use it uh, to to show uh, the video so now go let's go to track matter choose here uh, our puzzle made composition and here you need to change uh, the mode to luma matter in that way uh, this uh, layer would be uh, will be seen only uh, in the white places of this of this composition and so now Now we basically have uh, our mock-up ready. You can add any video. For example, I can import this one. Uh, go to my composition. Put it over here. And as you can see, uh, now it shows uh, on the display of my phone. Uh, and of course you can add as many layers and uh, any animations that you want uh, in this composition and they will all uh, appear over here uh, and of course you can add background for example here let's rotate it and yeah you can use of course any photos or footages uh, real videos etc etc basically it's a mock-up for your after effects and now you don't have to render this phone every time you need to change something over here it's super useful if you have any projects where you need to change uh, lots of text and uh, of course rendering it in cinema 4d every time with some new text would be super time consuming and uh, not necessary because you can make it like that and it's super useful uh, in lots of projects and I use it uh, actually pretty often uh, for the videos where I need to change some details uh, in uh, in text or languages so yeah that's basically everything I wanted to show you uh, if you have any questions please write it in the comments below I would be happy to answer it and to help with everything uh, 
with everything that you need. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and to the next videos.